This is Justin Germino, and I'm here talking about the Alsi Wireless 10 Key um, keypad that you can use for laptops if you don't have a 10 key and you really need the convenience of a 10 key because you do a lot of calculations with a calculator or you punch a lot of numbers in a spreadsheet like Access or Excel. You might benefit from having a wireless 10 key for your laptop, but you don't necessarily need a whole separate full size USB keyboard. So, what you get here with this LC uh, wireless 10 key is a numeric keypad. Obviously, you could see it looks exactly like a standard numeric keypad. If you turn the numlock off, then you could see the blue font functions of these buttons work. So page up, page down is nine and three, end is one. So that's what happens with these buttons if you turn the numlock off. In general, you can see the calculator button will open the calculator on your Windows PC, and then you could use the tab button, and you could just simply plug in the calculations. Now, I used to do data entry operation. I was extreme, I was very fast at data entry operation. I could just punch through spreadsheets, just plug in numbers, no problem. So I'm actually in a really good position to tell you what I think of a 10 key, because I used to do 10 key for a living in an earlier life when I was a teenager. So here's what the pros and cons of this keyboard. Number one, the keys are soft and they're very low and they make no noise and they make no volume, but they don't have a tactile feel and that spring back as I uh, used to be a dead entry operator. So having keycaps that spring back and are hard were really essential. Like feeling that click, feeling that spring back when you're punching in numbers. I felt the keys were a little too soft and you can't go as quickly as I was for data entry operation. I mean, it's fine if you're doing like say your taxes or you're plugging in numbers or financials into a spreadsheet and you're slow, but if you're actually doing hardcore data entry operation, I felt the keys were too soft. They didn't have enough spring back and they didn't really facilitate me to type as fast as I could go. I could type way faster on a mechanical keyboard's 10 key than I was able to type on this. But that being said, if your laptop doesn't have a 10 key and you really need the access to a 10 key, it does have some value. Some other uses for it that you may not have thought of is I do a lot of video gaming, right? And let's say you don't have a gaming keyboard that has all these extra keys or you have a laptop. You can actually put this uh, wireless keypad on the left side of your keyboard and then kind of program your game to use your numpad keys as like your hotkeys. So it kind of acts like an, a, a really, really budget version of a, of a game keypad. You basically can keep your right hand on the mouse at all times and you can use the, 10, the wireless 10 keypad as like your special functions. Like in Elite Dangerous, you know, where my hands are always having to jump to the keys, I could program the numpad key seven, eight, nine, whatever to be my landing gear, my, you know, flight controls, my flight assist on and off, I'll update the map and stuff like that. And I was able to use this pretty much as effectively as any gamepad just sitting on the left side of my keyboard uh, and using the num keys. That way I didn't have to take my hands off the mouse and then hit the num keys and things like that. So it actually makes a really, really budget uh, gamer's 10 keypad that you could put on the left side of your keyboard and use it to just do some assigned hotkeys in the game. That is, if you don't want to assign like your shift W key or your various shift keys, it basically gives you a little bit of a side kind of like panel. As long as you don't need to program the buttons and customize the colors and images, it works pretty good for that. So it actually has more than a use than just being a data entry um, keypad. It's good for running, you know, calculator type stuff on your laptop. Again, it's a recommended product. I wouldn't say it's ideal for data entry operation because I was not able to type that fast on it. The keys are a little too soft and not springy enough to really facilitate super fast data entry operation. But if you really need a 10 keypad and a wireless one at that, you use a lot of calculator or financial stuff, you don't care about speed as much as just having access to that 10 key, then it could be beneficial. And again, if you want to have a little separate like 10 keypad that you can put on the left side that maybe you can use for gaming and assign some hotkeys, it works for that too. And it's actually a really budget version, much cheaper than say getting a $99 or $100 keypad, um, just getting one of these and putting it using it as a, a gaming supplement could work as well. So again, the Alcee Wireless 10 key, thank you for watching.